Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, here we are, your best friends, <laughs> electronically, <laughs> from podcasts. 2019. Which are controlled by a massive media conglomeration, and they can also operate many appliances in your house. So if you want to turn on, turn on the I air conditioning say or that. your pipes, that's what we're here for. I didn't say Siri with an accent. Because then everything is going to answer. They're already already there. All right, we'll watch Child's Play. Last year's version. Yeah. 2019. I think we watched the Child's Play last year and then the year before. Um, We never watched the first one, I don't think. I, I watched think, the first one I think already. we watched like a random sequel. Yeah, we, re- yeah, yeah. we watched Cult of Chucky. Yeah, we did that and then we watched another one. I don't remember the one that we watched the year before. I don't remember. If either. we did. I think we did. I don't know. Uh, I don't Check know it out. If we We're did. watching a lot of movies for that month. Right. And it's fun. Yeah. All right, 2019. Judge by the cover. Uh, it looks like my. Uh, as a kid, there was this uh, doll called My Buddy for boys and Kid Sister for girls. And. It, that's what it looked like to me, and, and they were called buddy dolls. They weren't called good guys like they were in the original what, Child's Play. What cover did you look at? I looked at the cover of the movie. It just showed yeah, a big just like picture hand. of the of the Chucky's face. No, it's just the hand. Uh, I didn't see that cover. I it's saw the, the cover from when we press play we need, on we Prime need to, Video. Okay, so the one... Yeah, the problem is that like, you look, you search for a movie poster, there's alternate versions of it, so okay. that's the judgments that I made. What was your reaction to it? I don't know. What is, <laughs> I looked at another cover when yeah, it's only so the hand. I thought it's cover? cool. I thought it's cool. You can just see his it's hand and, and a knife, and you can assume that it's Chucky by the color of the shirt. And there's like a plastic hand. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's very small, the hand, so you barely see a little bit. It's cool. I like Chucky. They did a interesting, an interesting thing there. I don't know. I didn't feel like I'm watching a regular child's play. Right. So, the, I mean, the... Ori- it wasn't very scary. I think that the first Child's Play movie was the first R-rated movie that I saw as a kid, and it was definitely the first horror movie I saw. It was sort of eh, not quite similar to your experience with The Blob as a four-year-old, because I was a little bit older than that. But um, I think I was definitely in the second grade, and I think I saw it at a friend's house. I think that was my age of Chucky. Yeah, but it was like during the daytime, so I didn't have a... What didn't have the darkness of night surrounding me to add to the scariness of it all, but um, the first one starts off with a a serial killer in a toy store being chased by the cops, and he's wounded and dying. So he does some voodoo that he knows to put his soul in the body of a good guy's doll. This one starts in Vietnam. <laughs> with a uh, factory. Actually, no, it didn't start like that. It started with a, an advertisement for, like, sort of setting the stage that we're in 2019. And, I really like the beginning. Yeah, and t- uh, Tim Matheson, the actor, was, like, the head of this company, sort of like the Steve Jobs of... I forget what the name of... What was the name of the, the fake corporation? It was basically the equivalent of Something Apple. Something like K. Yeah, yeah, it was like Carson or something with a K. And, uh, but everything, the cars are like the cars. and Yeah, they have a, a handle in, in, in every little detail of technology. Yeah. And, and then uh, they're this, so it was basically like a little advertisement or a video clip that talked about how this, these buddy dolls can do everything. They can turn your TV on. They can do all this stuff. And then you see the factory where they're being made, and it's in Vietnam, and it's a sweatshop, but adults are working there. So it's sort of like how you would imagine the conditions of people that are making the iPhones that you may be listening to this podcast on right now. 
and there's just like a real dickhead floor manager, slave driving type, telling a guy that he sucks and he's a shitty worker and he's got a. As soon as he finishes this one last doll, he's out on the street and he's. Where I found you. Yeah, and so of course the disgruntled employee. He's very mad. <laughs> he takes off the uh, safeguards of the doll, uh, including ones that are specifically like violence-based and uh, language-based. Yeah, it's supposed to be a doll for kids. I mean, it's... Yeah. It does everything in the house. I thought in the beginning it was going to be like more like a robot, like a family robot that is just like in the house and mm-hmm. not like only kids thing. And yeah, so it's something that you can like kind of control through an app or see through its eyes in the app and you have it record things and it's... Sort of like how Siri is secretly recording us right now, you know. So if this file doesn't go through, we could get in touch with Siri, and they, they probably have it somewhere. Please, please, please. <laughs> and uh, and then we see, yeah. So the guy goes through it's all these, cloud. these protocols. They put the doll in the box, and then you see two guys who work at the factory just smoking butts outside, and, uh, and then a guy gets thrown off the roof. We don't really know who it is. I would like to think that it was the the real dickhead floor manager guy. <laughs> but it's just a, a random body. It's probably the, some poor slob that put the doll in the truck for transport. But. And then you see a fake movie generic box store employee, Aubrey Plaza. Which, you know what, it doesn't make much sense. What does it make sense? Wait, the Chuck, the... you already killed someone. Yeah. Well, maybe, you know what? Maybe it was the guy who maybe. did it just committed suicide. Yeah, that's what I wanted because to say. Because a lot maybe. of people at the Or Apple maybe the, the manager was really mad at him. He was just like, you're gone. Boom. I don't think the manager threw him off the building. I think, if anything, it was suicide. But, uh, but I think that I don't know. it's open it's... to interpretation. Yeah, so, yeah, it's kind of like a dumb. You should think that the Chucky really doll care did about it. What happened? But uh, um, yeah, I mean, if you're gonna start dissecting the logic of the movie, you can start there. That's the first death. It was four minutes in. I said it was gonna be seventeen minutes in. How many? I said seven. Seven. You did say seven. I won. Yeah. Well, we both said uh, the same number and the same. Uh, number of deaths for time of death and number of deaths you wrote seven deaths seven minutes i wrote 17 deaths 17 minutes i think that just means that even though we've done less than a week's worth of recap so far we're both getting lazy with our sheets (laughs) (laughs) i think that might be it yeah i'm very tired Uh, i said that there would be nudity and sex you said there will i said yes nudity no sex yeah well there was classic horror movie back nudity um, because there was like a peeping Tom at one point and then something happened so you can't see the front but you see the back and there was a uh, alluded to sex but uh, I, I'll, I'll consider both of my answers to be wrong that's fine uh, bleak ending I said yes I said yes too it's chalky yeah Although, I mean, we're getting ahead of ourselves, but I don't really think the ending was that bleak. Nah. They, they always... I think it's the only time. <laughs> the first time it wasn't bleak. I mean, there was a... You had walked away by that point, but after the credits, there was, you know, a sound like, are you going to be friends till the end? Or the voice. So yeah, but like it's that. still... Usually the Chucky ends with a very bleak ending. But it's kind yeah. of like, he'll be back. This one wasn't even Chucky. It's not like... It was Chucky. Yeah, it looked like him. He said that his name is Chucky, but there was no connection to the old good Chucky. Okay. I, I mean, all the old Chucky's did like, something you said, but, connected. But, there, but it was Chucky. I mean, if his bride would come, he wouldn't care. Right. Only yeah, but this ending. movie is completely different. It's just it's a it's a completely reimagined movie. Yeah, that's why I don't think uh, it's not that I didn't like the movie. I, I mean, I would like it better if it would look different, and it wouldn't be Chucky. It'd be just like 
then it would just Freaking be seen as a, a complete ripoff. I mean, the way they, the know, way that they didn't... did this was they basically Child's Play is about a guy who is inside of a body of a doll, and this is about AI, artificial intelligence, gone crazy. So basically, it's like Chopping Mall if it was Chopping <laughs> Chopping Doll. Chopping Doll. And uh, you they, see, it's better than Child's Play. Chopping Doll. Yeah. So. Um, that's why it's called a reboot, not a remake. So they took similar ideas. They took the same, some uh, things of the movie and they modernized it. I don't know. When I'm Voodoo isn't really uh, big now and it's probably thought to be No, I really racist. like the idea. That's what I'm saying. I like the idea that like a robot and with all those like weird toys that kids have now. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um... I, I said so yes, Jackie there would be an animal death. House. Okay, we're not going to go through the sheet. You want to just... Oh, okay. Yes. I said no animal death. I said yes, animal death. What did you say? I win. I didn't say anything. You I need to say, yes. so you didn't win. Okay, I didn't win. You can't say cat. No animals say died speech. because I didn't guess what <laughs> species kidding, of animal. I'm Look at this one. Uh, guess log line. I just wrote friends to the end. But we don't say the long line oh, anymore. Okay. Well, it's well. not fun. Okay, so uh, the mom works in this shitty department store, and someone comes in trying to return this best buddy because he thought it was the new one. There's a new version coming out, similar to how technology is always moving along now. And... Uh, and, and she tells him the new one didn't come out yet. That's what it is. Go, and he goes. And <laughs> he was he, so he was a black guy that was complaining because he didn't know that Ch the the Chucky that the doll is ginger. And then she says, "I don't think you should say that word." And also, and but she, he said "fucking ginger," so you don't know if she meant the f word or the g word. No, she said she was talking about the ginger part, because then after that she said like. You could see also that he has a red head mm -hmm. through the box. Yeah. So um, that uh, happens. So you learn that she's a single mom and she has one child that she had when she was 16. And they live in this kind of dingy apartment in Chicago where they just moved to. She's working doubles so she can take care of him, pay for the phone that he's constantly on, and, uh... And he tries to convince him to go meet new kids in the middle of the night when it's rainy and cold out. <laughs> Just go out there, I'll give you your phone back. Yeah. Go get raped and then come back. Otherwise, no dinner. Oh. So he basically just hides in the hallway and goes on his phone, and then he meets someone who's not a neighbor he's just a, a guy visiting his mom who is a neighbor and he happens to be a, a police officer but he's friendly and kind of nerdy he's it's really little, sweet yeah he's a little awkward he kind of tries to make a joke when his mom finds uh andy sitting there and uh just goes in to have dinner with his mom who is very loud and presumably and sweet. a little bit of an alcoholic. And uh, so the things escalate when someone returns the a best buddy doll and the mom asks her, asks slash blackmails the guy in the warehouse responsible for returns if she can have it so she can give it to her son as an early birthday gift. And uh, it's a l clear from the start that it's a little bit off. It thinks that, uh, what is it, a paper towel is science homework. I was making popcorn for some of this part. Where what are you talking about? The doll making mistakes, saying, Andy, don't forget your science ah, that's homework. A, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I, I missed some of this was all just Yeah, so she convinced... No, but I thought you were still talking about the, the guy that convinced him to give her the doll. 
No. She saw him having sex with someone in the. Yeah, that back. was the blackmail. Yeah. She's like, how's your wife? How's your wife? Can I have the doll? How's your wife? I saw you. Where's... She had your wife. So she's a very annoying person, the mother. And she gives the doll to Andy. And Andy is upset because it's like, it's for babies, this doll. Uh, but then, I don't know. You don't know? What? You don't... You said then, I don't know. Oh, no. And then he's like telling him, what's your name? And then Andy's like... Andy Sap, and then he calls him Andy Sap the entire movie. Hmm. And then he asks him, "And what's my name?" Because you're probably supposed to give chi- like uh, the doll a name. And he said, "Han Solo." Han Solo, and then he's like, "Chucky, I like it." And I'm like, "Oh, come on!" And I, I, I did have like a, a little faith that they're gonna go with more Chucky stuff, but it, it didn't. I mean, it was his name and the way that he looked. And that's it. And he kills people. Which he didn't kill a lot for Chucky. I counted seven deaths. Six, actually. It was one. That mm. Yeah. Um, the th- doll is very defensive of Andy. And it takes everything that he says as the... Uh, literal truth like he gets mad at the cat and so it attacks the cat and then Andy stops it and uh, he doesn't like his mom's boyfriend and so so it goes and kill him no you're getting way ahead of yourself they so they he tries to teach him the doll to scare the boyfriend and a couple other people pug and Fallon, a guy and a girl that live in the building around his age, they kind of become friends with him for the nature of getting into mischief and pranking with the doll. And so they scare the shit out of the guy, they record also, it. Also, Chucky doesn't have... I mean, usually the, the doll's supposed to not repeat after bad words. And Chucky doesn't have those uh, in his system. Right. Yeah, the there's no whatever. restrictions on the yeah. doll like we talked about in the beginning. And yeah. um, uh, so he starts repeating things on his own and repeating the shit that Andy was talking about his mom's boyfriend in a loop around the boyfriend, which just causes the atmosphere in the households to be very toxic and tense. And the boyfriend gets in his face and kind of threatens him uh, Andy I mean and uh, things build and eventually the doll travels home in the boyfriend's truck where he goes to see his wife and daughters so I was very family. happy for a moment and I also told you while we were, we were watching that I would love to see a Chucky's movie that it only kills bad people it will make me happy oh. Vigilante justice. Yeah. I mean, it will ruin all the idea of Chucky. I don't really want to watch any movie like that. We'll probably get very annoyed. But, uh, yeah. yeah. This one gave me a hope that it's going to happen this time. But, nope. <laughs> no. They killed uh, Doreen. What's her name? The mother. Sweetheart. Also, We're I wrote it here, place. I forgot, I didn't <laughs> say that. But Chucky is ugly. Really ugly. Yeah. That doll. He is ugly. And he kept reminding me of Shelly. So the first day that Andy had him, uh, the <laughs> he wakes up in the middle of the night, he opens his eyes, and there's Chucky standing there and asks him, is it time to play again? And it was like 3 a.m. or something. And I just thought, we just got a puppy. If we didn't mention that every episode. Uh, and she's at that age. So she can wake up in the middle of the night and be like, is it time to play again? Mm. And like, no, go to sleep, Chucky. Now I don't understand why we didn't call her Chucky. Yeah. Thankfully, she can't get up on the bed. Although she yeah. tries. 
so yeah, Andy is nav- navigating this, trying to become friends with these two kids, and then there's other neighborhood friends that are wanting to. They're kind of using him for the toy. They they want to f- film videos of Chucky stabbing a stuffed unicorn, saying this is for Tupac. I don't know what yeah. that's about, but um, and uh, they make fun of him. He has a hearing aid in the in the movie, which comes into play a couple times. And uh, he becomes more friendly with the police officer who goes to visit his, his mom, who was kind of... You know, like was there was a lot heart. of stuff in the movie that, that was sort of played for comedy. Like, it wasn't... It was sort of like a mixture of a coming-of-age film. But I don't think it was funny. Yeah, I know. It just had, like, the vibe of, of sort of, like... Of kids nowadays, you know, trying to go viral and do stuff yeah. like that. There, there were like a couple of parts of the movie that that were funny. They were mostly like about Chucky getting something wrong or being a little bit. Uh, yeah, the first kilter. thing that you said was pretty funny. That is like, this is not my science book. Yeah, and he's just holding it. Toilet paper. Yeah, I know. I was just talking about like the general movie vibe. But, you know, yeah. talking about like this kid and light. like America's obsession with technology and and, and new things and uh, and Walmart. But then you know it gets pretty dark and grisly with like the way that the the boyfriend dies. He he's like breaks both of his legs when Chucky presumably pushes the ladder off of his uh, oh from underneath him while he's taking off Christmas lights and then plows into him with a. Uh, Pretty sure it was like a snow blower when there was no snow on the ground, and then cuts his face off. Also, there was a scene earlier where they were watching one of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre sequels, him and his friends, with Chucky in the room, and they were laughing at how ridiculous this was. So Chucky thinks in his head, "Oh, they enjoy this. I want him to. I want Andy to be yeah, happy. Yeah, because they're so laughing. Do stuff like it this. Crazy." And so he kills the cat at one point, and then Andy has to hide it and pretends like the cat ran away. And uh, then he kills the boyfriend, cuts the face off, and puts it on something, or just cuts the whole head off? I don't know. It looked like he cut only the face. It looks like he cut the face off and put it on something, but I think it was the whole head. But yeah, it was the whole head because it was heavy. And also Leatherface, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, is about someone who wears a their own skin on their face, so maybe you cut it off and then put it back on. Yeah. But put birthday wrapping paper around it, and Andy wakes up uh, next to it and calls what? his friends. No. He wakes up with it in his room. It's not next to him on the bed. Or no, he didn't wake up. He came home from school. And yeah, right and then there. he saw that. No, no, he didn't, he didn't come home from school because he was skipping school that day. So he like went in there and saw it in the morning and didn't go to school that day because... Yeah, but it wasn't wrapped in a... In I know it wasn't wrapped, but it had ribbon on it. Ah, okay. He wrapped it up in wrapping paper to try to get rid of it. Yeah. And there was... That was played for a pretty good comedy because you yeah, had to give really, it to... He said that he was, was giving great. it to the old lady down the hall because she helped him with his homework. Yeah, and his mom was like, all right, let's go get it to her. Yeah. And he's like, ah. Uh, and she's like, come on. And then he's... She goes along with the lie. And he says, but I don't want you to open it now. I want you to open it on when I open my week. present. Because that's a normal request to make. And she actually didn't even yeah. look inside. Right. And uh, so they try to get rid of Chucky. They throw him down the trash after he did this. And the the creepy maintenance guy that's installing surveillance cameras in the hallways and also in people's homes hmm. sees an opportunity to make money on eBay. And uh, while he's peeping on his Andy's mom and trying to watch her take a shower, he's also opening up Chucky and adding a new battery, giving it a new outfit since it's all uh, dirty and everything. And he dies a gruesome grisly death yeah this was a disgusting one that you know utilizes not just the uh 
classic knife or anything, but all sorts of technology by forcing him to fall onto a table saw and making the temperature go up in the room so the pipe he's hanging onto burns. It was, you know, a lot of the deaths that were very great. complicated. Yeah. Uh, that was like kind of like a chalky thing. I like that. Yeah. And, uh, and they, things just build. And, 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 you know, there were similar vibes to the first movie where Andy tries to tell his mom and she just doesn't believe him. Of course. And then more, it just kind of spirals from there when she has to work the launch of the Buddy 2 and Andy goes with her to work and uh, the the doll that they thought that they got rid of was presented to Omar, the other kid that lives in the apartment building that wanted him to be in the Stabbing a Unicorn video. And uh, they Oh, see... by the way, Chucky did say uh, this is for Tupac after he killed the boyfriend. <laughs> that was yes. pretty cool. Kids, they are products of their environment, even artificial intelligence kids. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. Really, I like the ending sequence. How how they, w- Chucky, basically, was able to uh, tap into the main network so that all of the new buddy dolls that all these people coming out of the store are coming again. Yeah, I thought that they were gonna do something bigger than what they did. But people came to, I mean, there is like the the mother is is killing her because uh, when Chucky is being fixed by the the guy, the maintenance guy, so he sees on the camera that she tells Andy that she will that now you're my best friend. He's like, no, he's my best friend. So That's he goes the to neighbor. Kill her. The neighbor's yeah, Doreen. Mother. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's the neighbor. Right, the you mom said the, the mother. Oh, okay. the mo- oh, yeah, I'm sorry. The mother of the, the police officer, the sweetheart. And so he, he, killed, he kills her. And yeah, he kills her in a very complicated way. And Andy tries to, to warn everybody. The, what? You don't want to talk about the complicated, creative technology way that she dies? The grandmother, you don't remember? I do remember being almost 30 minutes. Okay. I'm tired. Well. There's a bunch of weird creative. Di- I mean, I think yeah, you it's see a the car. Movie it's anyway. a car without a uh, driver, so Chucky can, can control it because it's the same. Uh, because if you're a kid in the car with your parents and you want to control your parents' <laughs> car, you just need to have a body. So anyway, so we just like makes the car drive like crazy and until she's dying, and then he's in the car making sure that she's dying. Um, the old-fashioned way. Yeah. But I wanted to say about the end. No, no. So Andy's telling his friends that this is Chucky. It's not a new friend of Omar. And they're like, no, we're not your friends, blah, blah, blah. So they start a fight on the day that he's in the supermarket with his mom. The supermarket. The, the, is it a part the, the, the store that she store, yeah. works in? Yeah. yeah. And Zed they start Mark. a fight. Zed, Zed. No, Zed Mark, yeah. Something like that. So they start a fight and then he finds Omar's phone and he decides to take it without telling him. And he's seeing the the Chuck is on the way to Doreen and he tries to to, to stop her and stop him. So that's when he tells his mom about it and the mom doesn't believe him. And then they're going to the second, the new doll. Uh, yeah, the launch. Yeah. When it's and released. everybody's there. And the kid's just realizing that he was right. So they're going to warn him and try to save him. And when they're at the store, it's a little too late because Chucky is already there taking care of everything. Yeah, I love the moment where someone has to dress up. It's it's the uh, the guy from the warehouse that she blackmailed about him yeah. cheating on his wife. He has to wear the big plastic head and be the big buddy doll. It's and basically the best death, like guys are cheating on their wives. It's just like, all right. So he gets stabbed in be the careful. neck. 
If we're gonna cheat, I'm gonna send Shelly to basically kill you. She's my Chucky. <laughs> I train her. I can't. Well, I mean, I'm not kidding. Like, don't. But I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah. I mean, whatever. We don't. The, there's not much else to say. There's a no. massive ending sequence. We've sort of recapped. I this feel like the massive out of attack. order in I different ways. But so yeah. all the dolls over there. I was like, Chucky can kind of like connect to all of them, and he didn't. He connected to one. No, like I connected that. to a bunch of them. I don't know. I just imagine that it's gonna be like an army of Chucky's. It happened before. Hmm. So yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it was okay. I mean, uh, they definitely did a lot more newer things than uh, the last remake modernization thing that kind of tinkered with the original thing, which is Pet Cemetery. So I mean, it's uh, it's not a remake of Child's Play. It's a reboot. If you don't, if you're a purist and you didn't like all the little changes or whatever, whatever, I understand. But if you if you just take it as it is, if you've never seen any of the other ones, eh, you, you might like yeah, it a little cool. bit. I don't know. It's not something that I would probably watch again. Like I would watch like the first ones. You know, they're dumb and unrealistic. But, but they're uh, cool. They they have yeah. something. Like Chucky has something. It's got a little know? bit more edge, a little more personality. Because yeah. Chucky's not AI. He's a a serial killer that's put yeah. in there. And, I mean, the the voice for this Chucky I didn't know until the credits was was. Uh, Mark Hamill, the voice, the voice of the Joker from Batman the Animated Series, mostly known for being Luke Skywalker from Star Wars films. Kind of neat. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I thought the acting was pretty decent for yeah, it was the, okay. for a horror movie. Yeah. And, um, even the kids weren't super stereotypical the or super was annoying super cool. no the kids were fine i mean it was good it was okay it the wasn't... soundtrack was actually pretty good like the the songs over the credits and stuff I, mean, I think it was just instrumental music but i i dug it and then like the good the bus buddies song is pretty creepy and uh yeah i don't know not that bad it it, it exceeded my low expectations that i had for the movie and I'm not. I'm not sorry that I didn't see it in theaters. I'm Me fine either. with seeing it at home, on a platform I subscribe to. And telling you about it while I'm falling asleep, like literally. Yes. I mean, already a few times my eyes were like, yes, just like so, this. We're gonna if you're listening sleep. to us and you want to see me falling asleep on the couch while I'm talking, just switch. Just to go YouTube. to this minute on the YouTube video. Whatever minute we're on. All right, I need to go to sleep. All right, good Thank night. Thank you so much for listening or watching or probably both if you're watching already. Or hearing about Thank it. you, Matt, Kona, and Yelgavish. And we're friends till the end. We'll be here tomorrow, friends till the end. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Peace. <laughs>